What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering. I hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day. Interesting new news coming out of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. If we look at the way the Marvel has trudged its way, really through most of the post-lockdown era, it's been mostly hit or miss. I mean, it's been hit or miss with mostly misses. Sure, Spider-Man and Doctor Strange and stuff like that are still pretty reliable at the box office, but even the latest Guardians of the Galaxy movie didn't do that well. I remember that was the type of movie that I would have definitely went to see in the theater. Still haven't seen it. Should probably watch it eventually. I'm sure it's not bad. But I think most people have suffered extensively from Marvel superhero fatigue. None more than apparently Brie Larson, who has quit playing Captain Marvel after growing disillusioned with the role. Now, I'm not surprised at all. This is a movie that has been delayed several times. And now only, you know, uh, only now we're hearing some more of the inside stuff. It's been delayed, delayed three or four times. There were uh, rumors of, you know, fights on set and poor test screenings. Last week, it came out that Captain Marvel was pacing for a 72% drop compared to the pre-sales of just of Ant-Man, which was also a financial disaster for Marvel. So there is an absolute metric ton of reasons why she probably wants to flee this sinking ship. Add to that to the, uh, the fact that really nobody liked the character. Nobody liked the actress. I've grown to obviously become a number one fan of Brie Larson. But this is a character that at a time of Marvel's height, people just didn't really care about. And out of desperation, now they've thrown in two other characters hardly anybody knows about or anybody cares about. And I suppose all of these things are leaking out now because she's trying to flee a sinking ship before it actually sinks all the way. Smart, clever girl. By the way, my website, coffeebrandcoffee.com, my coffee company, is having a site-wide 10% off sale with promo code fall coco we just re-released our peppermint hot cocoa these are like extremely um uh, how do i say like um they're like a a, 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 a artisanal cocoa you want to make it with milk you want to you know enjoy it this isn't your like can of swiss mist from the store which has its place but it's it's really really good the velvet hot cocoa the caramel hot cocoa marshmallow hot cocoa peppermint hot cocoa Obviously, we also have our fall flavors, pumpkin pie, spiked jack-o'-lantern, um, butterscotch toffee. Uh, we have our cake cups. Everything's 10% off. Or, uh, everything's 10% off. We have uh, over a dozen organic teas. It would be awesome if I could earn your support over on Coffee Brand Coffee today. Promo code FALLCOCO. I'll put it down in the description. Brie Larson disillusioned with Captain Marvel following, quote, toxic backlash. Well... Okay, Captain Marvel actress Brie Larson could be leaving the character behind soon. Now, other sites are reporting that she has already. Larson's first movie as Carol Danvers was a major success in 2019's Captain Marvel, totaling over a billion dollars at the worldwide box office. We've already talked about this at length. Of course, it was going to hit a billion dollars. It was billed as required reading for the biggest movie almost in all time of all time. One of the biggest movies of all time. Um, however, many toxic groups emerged to go after the movie and Larson after hurtful or, and the hurtful comments have not stopped since. Now, new information suggests the Marvel story could be the final one for Larson as Captain Marvel. Think about the spectacular change. There was a point where Bob Iger, I think it was Bob Iger at the time, might have been Chappick, I think it was Iger, came out and was like, no, she's the new face of the Avengers. This is it, Captain Marvel's leading the way. And uh, now it's like, oh, she doesn't even want to play the role anymore. And their, new, their newest upcoming movie is, is set to be a box office disaster. Now, could the Captain Marvel movie uh, surprise people and do well? Sure. I mean, it doesn't come out for another month. If the actor's strike ends and Brie Larson gets out there and promotes the film and you know they do the media tour, things of that nature... It's entirely possible that it could, you know, I never count out uh, a Marvel movie for making money. 
Um, so you never really know, but all the early trending is extremely bad. The future of Marvel icons was unclear. The departure of the franchise anchors like Robert Downey Jr., Chris Evans, and Scarlett Johansson have already taken its toll and had the shocking loss of Chadwick Boseman, but other MCU stalwarts were heading for the exits. The Guardians of the Galaxy cast went on a farewell tour. Brie Larson grew disillusioned, and, the Mar- and Marvel tussled with Sony in a custody battle over Tom Holland. Now, she has the perfect way to leave it behind, of course. According to the MCU, the reign of Marvel... Studios book author Robinson, a quote from Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige. Oh, it was Feige, not Iger. Yeah, it was, Fe- it was Kevin Feige. Um, teases that Avengers Secret Wars could reboot the MCU, Robinson says. We have a quote from Feige sort of implying it like Secret Wars will serve as a soft reboot in which they can prime everything. That reveal means huge changes to the MCU could be coming relatively soon. Well, nobody's going to care. I mean, if you don't have Iron Man, if you don't have Captain America, and you don't have the Incredible Hulk, nobody cares. Everybody else is like, they're like S tier, and everybody else is like C tier, okay? Um, You can't make people suddenly fall in love with Kamala Khan. I'm not saying you can't over time, or America Chavez, or all these other characters that have always existed, but, you know, were conveniently slotted in as, you know, a diversity it takes time. You can't just thrust somebody on a fandom and say, you're supposed to like this person now. It doesn't work that way. And if you look at it, you know, we had Iron Man for freaking 20 years practically. Um, and I think that, you know, you look at many of MCU's most recent additions, such as Larson's The Marvel's co-stars Iman Vellani as Miss Marvel and Tayona Paris as Monica Rambeau could continue in the new MCU while veteran actors are recast Larson could be one of those recast actors. I mean, I think that um, it's pretty hilarious to think about an MCU that is just Kamala Khan and America Chavez and other like Z-list Marvel characters. I I can't even imagine it. I can't imagine anyone caring about those movies. Not not to mention, by the way, you know how boring and how bored, by the way, everyone is with superhero Drek. People still like superhero stuff, the IP, but the formulaic Marvel movie is what people don't want. I mean, I thought the Batman was very good. A lot of people didn't like Robert Pattinson as as Batman. I thought he did great. Um, I think he has great range. He has actually a pretty good portfolio of movies that a lot of people skip because they view him as the Twilight guy, which I understand. Um, you know, the Joker did a billion dollars. The Joker 2 almost certainly will not. Um, you know, I have zero interest in a quote musical. Lady Gaga, I don't really care for. I mean, yeah, she can act okay. She's okay. Um, but if they're gonna jump the shark like that, I I just I'm way less pumped about the Joker 2 than I was the Joker. The same is true probably for any of the new the Batman, you know, stuff like that. As reported by the direct, author Joanna Robinson claims that Gar- Larson grew disillusioned with the role in her in her book MCU: The Reign of Marvel Studios. Specifically, wrote the future of those Marvel icons was unclear. The departure of franchise actors, um, you know, this is the quote I just read before. Yeah, I mean, sure. During an appearance on the Watch podcast, Robinson added, "I don't know if Brie Larson was the wrong person for the role necessarily, but the toxic backlash." means Brie Larson doesn't want to play Carol Danvers anymore. I mean, we saw that with her famous interview by saying like, well, does anyone even want me to play this character? Does anyone even want? And I, and I do like, now that I'm older, like I, some of the stuff she said was dumb and she's basically like kind of the stereotype, divisive, I'll say, you know, the, I don't care what some 40 year old guy says about a stitch in time or whatever that movie was called. Okay. Um, but like people were, extremely rough on her, uh, myself included. And, you know, as time has passed, obviously, you care a lot less about some comments she made 10 years ago than when the first movie came out and the, and the comments were made six months before that. Um, you know, she added, that's sort of what she said. She was interviewed at D23 and they're like, do you know we're going to see a bunch more from Carol Danvers? She's like, I don't know. Does anyone want to see me play Carol Danvers? It doesn't seem like it. Remember this famous, this famous interview? How long will you play Captain Marvel for? I don't know. I don't know. Does anyone want me to do it again? Don't be so modest. 
<laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. I don't have the answer to that. Long will you? I think that she was extremely, uh, she was reacting in a very human way uh, to massive self, you know, self-inflicted backlash. You know, as Robinson notes, you know, Larson previously informed Variety at Disney's D23 Expo in September that she didn't think anyone wanted to see her reprise the role of Captain Marvel or Carol Danvers again. Yeah, I mean, I don't. I don't care about, you know, Captain Marvel. I never did. Um, that character wasn't for me. I, it's not like I don't want, it's not like I actively wanted to not exist. I just don't care. Certainly, if there's enough Captain Marvel fans, we'll find out in 30 days. Robinson went on to detail that Larson wanting to leave the role of Captain Marvel was not the case during the filming of Avengers Endgame. She said, Chadwick told me that a story about the set of Endgame, he and Brie Larson and Tom Holland sat around and talked about how they were the future of Marvel and how exciting it was for them. And when you look at the breakdown between Sony Marvel deal over Spider-Man, when you look at Chad Bozeman passing away, and you look at Brie Larson either not being a great fit or, you know, just being uh, damaged by a toxic fandom, then that plan they put into play, you know, they felt like they were creating another A-team. They really thought that Black Panther, Captain Marvel, and um, Spider-Man was going to be the new Avengers. And um, I guess that might have worked. You need, obviously, at least maybe one or two more um, characters. You know, Black Panther was a character that, you know, obviously, I thought was a fine character. I thought Chadwick Boseman was a good actor and play that character well. Um, you know, I don't care for Captain Marvel, but if she was a part of a team, it's like I didn't care for the Incredible Hulk very much in the Avengers, in particular, Mark Ruffalo. Um, but, you know, and the new, like, smart Hulk thing that they did, I didn't care for that. Um, but that said, like, uh, it might have worked, but then, you know, without them, and you say, like, you know, this report comes out just as Walt Disney Company and Marvel Studios are ramping up promotion for Larson's upcoming The Marvel's Movie, where she does reprise her role. Specifically now, outlets say the movie will bring between 50 and $75 million in its opening domestic weekend and go on to gross between $121 and $189 million. Um, that's a massive, massive drop-off. On top of poor projections, the film's director, Nia DaCosta, implied that she's done with any kind of Marvel production following the conclusion of the film. DaCosta told Vanity Fair, It was really great to play in this world, to be a part of this big world, but it made me want to build my own even more. Not only that, not only did she indicate she's done with Marvel, she also appeared to wash her hands of taking any credit or blame for the film, saying, It's a Kevin Feige production, it's his movie, so I think you live in that reality. But I tried to go in with the knowledge that some of you is going to take a back seat. So you got the director disavowing the Brie Larson, you know, this interview coming out, not looking good at all. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do leave a like on it. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe or follow down below and we'll talk to you again real soon.